staying with us, taking a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Skycam. We've got some clear skies and some chilly temperatures at this hour. Some very light traffic out on I-94 this morning as we head through the day today. Those clear skies are going to turn into mostly sunny skies. We see lots of sunshine today and a nice warm up. Again, it's chilly out there. 46 degrees. Winds are calm and winds are going to remain relatively light as we head through the day today. Primarily out of the southwest around 5 to 10 miles per hour. And a nice warm up with those sunny skies. 46 also down in the Aberdeen area. 48 over in Bismarck. Also 48 in Devils Lake. 50 in Redwood Falls. 52 down in Huron. Some other temperatures across the region a little bit closer to home. You have to mostly in the 40s. 50, however, up in Bedette. 46 in Roseau. 46 in Bemidji. Wadena over in Jamestown. 47 and down in Sisseton. We've got some clear skies. Not seeing any reports of fog right now, but I wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit of at least patchy fog, especially over in far northern portions of Minnesota. Do keep that in mind if you're getting ready to head out and about. You may see just a touch of that fog, but it's not going to last long once the sun rises. It's going to get on out of here. Speaking of sunshine, the clouds that we've had over the past couple of days well off towards the east. And once that sun rises here in a couple of hours, we're going to see plenty of it. Those clouds moving on out. May see an isolated uh, few clouds as we head through this afternoon. But again, plenty of sunshine with no clouds around, no precipitation. Any of that green you see on the radar, just a little bit of interference on the radar domes themselves. Northern Plains, quiet. The rain that we had well off towards the east. Making its way through the Great Lakes, the UP of Michigan seeing some rain showers there, and the Green Bay getting a, a few showers as we've gone through this morning. So we zoom on after the uh, national map. There's the front, the cool front, sparking some showers and some thunderstorms, and that stretches all the way down into parts of the Gulf Coast states where we're getting a little bit of heavier rain along and just south of the uh, coastline of southeast Texas and it's southern Louisiana. As we go through the day today, look for lots of sunshine out there and a nice warm up well into the 70s in most locations. We may hang on to some 60s up in northern portions of Minnesota. And again, we may see just a few clouds streaming all through, just some high, thin, cirrus clouds. It's not going to impact our temperatures much at all. As we head through the overnight hours tonight, mostly clear skies once again, but not as cool, dropping down into the 50s and 60s. Tomorrow, a very warm day with lots of sunshine. This model having 90 in Fargo. I think it's going to be close to that. I think we're going to be just a little bit short of that, staying in the uh, mid to uh, upper 80s. Late in the day, a very weak system will be approaching from the west. That'll give us just a slight chance for an isolated shower or storm in our far western and northwestern counties. However, the vast majority of us are going to remain dry. Speaking of that, precipitation potential, well, there, there really isn't any as we head through the uh, rest of the evening and on into uh, tomorrow. Again, that slight chance for a late day shower or storm up in our northwestern counties is about it. Better chances for showers and storms will show up after a very warm day on Friday. Not quite as warm on Saturday with a few more clouds around. Good chance for some showers and storms. Some of those may be strong, perhaps even severe, especially along and east of the Red River. You'll want to keep attuned to the latest forecast we head through the weekend. Some lingering rain, especially early on Sunday and turning cooler, but that cool air is not going to stick around very long back into the 80s for your Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. That is a look at your weather. Stay with us. More of the Valley Today Ag Show is coming out right after this.